That good Samaritan spotted that little girl wearing only a blanket here on Sunday evening. Thankfully, she knew something was wrong and stepped in. And it was because of that this little girl uh, was able to get in touch with police and provide some incredibly uh, detailed information. They're actually working on a suspect sketch as we speak, and they also have a vehicle description of that suspect. We'll show you in just a minute. I asked her if she was OK. And she said, no, I'm not OK. I was kidnapped. Can you take me home? Sunday night, this good Samaritan will call Alicia was at her brother's house on Detroit's west side, about to leave when she noticed a nine year old girl naked, wrapped in a blanket, walking without shoes on. And she said not only was I kidnapped, she was sexually assaulted. What was her state of mind? I mean, was she I could tell that she was to be honest, she was calm, but it was a state of shock as well. Alicia says she went into mom mode. It's going to be okay. Trying to reassure that it's going to be okay. You with me now? I'll call the cops, and they're going to come out here and they're going to help you. When police got there, they were able to piece together a terrifying story. The little girl left home in Farmington Hills Sunday after a fight with family, with only a backpack, blanket, and pillow. She was wandering aimlessly for two hours when a man pulled up near Eight Mile and Grand River, offering a ride home. Instead of taking her there, he took her to another home in Detroit near Eight Mile and Berg, where she was allegedly raped. She um, told me that she was um, tied up and there was tape on her mouth. And then when he fell asleep, she was able to get loose and she was able to, you know, escape. This is a case uh, that is every parent's nightmare, including my own. We asked Detroit Police Chief James White if the little girl knew the suspect or if it was strictly a random crime of opportunity. But I don't think it would be appropriate to, to talk in specifics right now uh, with that information. Investigators in both cities are actively searching for the suspect and his SUV, believed to be this 2015 to 2021 white Jeep Renegade caught on surveillance footage. Our investigators are actively working and grow ever closer to identifying you. As soon as possible, turn yourself in to the Farmington Hills Police Department, the Detroit Police Department, or any police department. So two jurisdictions here working together, extra patrols in this area here, Eight Mile and Berg, where the little girl showed up and where she was abducted from over at Eight Mile and Grand River. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Detroit police are actively working on a sketch right now of that suspect. We should have it this evening and we will make sure and get it out to the public as soon as possible. Reporting live on Detroit's west side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Chief King there with Farmington Hills today in the news conference, making it clear that the Good Samaritan you talked to is basically a hero, but it's going to take more heroes out there once a sketch comes out to finally nab this predator. Yeah, they're absolutely leaning on the public. Just in the last couple minutes here, a few people in the neighborhood say we are out looking for this guy. I do not think this neighborhood is going to stand for another awful attack like this. And as soon as the picture is released, we'll have it on our app and our website as well. Jessica Dupnak for us live. Thank you.